This video demonstrates how to build and debug for Renaissance RX in eSquare Studio. Part 1 Change Build Settings and Build a Project in eSquare Studio. Part 2 Debug a Project in eSquare Studio. This video uses a RX671 device for demonstration. Part 1 Build Project. Right click the project name in Project Explorer and select C, C Project Settings. The compiler, assembler, linker, library generator, and converter settings can be changed in Tool Settings tab. The include path for header file can be added in compiler, source. To enable or disable debugging information output, select compiler, object, check or uncheck output's debugging information. To change optimization level for compiler, select compiler, optimization, and choose from the optimization level list. Standard library can be added or removed by selecting the options under library generator, standard library. Section can be added or removed under linker, section. To generate a hex or mote file, select converter, output. Go to the toolchain tab and set the toolchain version. Click Apply and Close to save the current configuration. Rebuild in this dialog does not mean project rebuild, it refers to scanning the project to update editor information. Select Rebuild Index. Build Project. The console panel shows Build Finished with Zero Errors message to indicate a successful build. Part 2 Debug Project. Connect E2 Emulator Lite to the target board and the computer. Select Debug Configurations to open the Debug Configuration window. In Debug Configuration window, select Renaissance GDB Hardware Debugging. Then click on the existing Debug Configuration. Select Debugger tab, set E2 Lite as the debug hardware. Under the Debugger tab, go to the Connection Settings subtab. Set Main Clock Source as HOKO. Connection Type, select Fine. Power Target from the Emulator, select Yes. Click Apply button to confirm the settings. User can proceed to Debugger immediately by clicking Debug button. The Debugger can also be started from the Workbench in the main screen. Launch the debugger. The display switches to the debug perspective. The program stops at Power on Reset PC. Click Resume button to continue running. Click Resume again if program stops at main function. At the bottom, the program status running indicates program is running. Click on Suspend button to break at current program counter. The program status is changed to suspended. To add a breakpoint, double click on the line with address in the address pane. The breakpoint is marked with icon next to the line number. To view a global variable, drag and drop it to the expressions view. If the view is not shown, select Window, Show View, Expressions. To watch real-time update of values, right-click the variable and select Enable Real-Time Refresh. Remove the breakpoint by double-clicking on the breakpoint icon. Click Resume button to watch the real-time update of values. To stop debugging, click Terminate button. The debugger is disconnected and debugging is terminated.